Ashley Red. So I just got back from A3C. It's still going on right now. Today was the first day it kicked off. There's a lot of events going on right now. Um, if you want to download the A3C um, app on your Android or your iPhone, you can check out who's performing on, on what days it is from um, Wednesday the 8th all the way to Sunday the 12th of October. I'll be going to some events on Saturday and Sunday, but I do have some footage from some panelists. They talked about, you know, making your music a movement. Jermaine Dupri talked about a lot about what he's doing, some of what his artists are doing, what he looks for in an artist or a producer, things like that. So I'm gonna show you a lot of great stuff and hopefully this weekend I have a lot of great stuff for you. So we're gonna roll. Guns like I could find right. me. So like Nicki fan cities labels wanna sign me. But sell my soul, that's just what Diversity. I want. Um, culture, diversity is big talk right now. Corporations, everybody needs uh, diversity and their uh, they need uh, d uh, diverse and sensitivity, cultural sensitivity, and all these different things. You have a look that's popular on commercials now. If you haven't paid attention, there's a lot of women in commercials today that look just like you. They love the light skin and the hair, the curly hair. You can you can utilize that now. You have a degree in media and culture. How can you take culture and be a cultural ambassador or have a song dealing with diversity or being mixed or whatever it is? How Hazik talked about the commercials, right? There's a, a hair a company called Mixed Chicks or whatever. You look like mm -hmm. mixed chicks. Mixed chicks. Yeah. You should be at them. But like B Brown said earlier, you need to have an education because if you cannot write a proposal mm -hmm. that makes see this is where we we lose all the time. does his boutique need oh snap so you mean he doesn't have a YouTube commercial whoa and you mean he never had nobody just present him a song about his particular store dang and you mean to tell me that a hook is what sells all these commercials anyway like how it is one four one one pain all that right and we don't know who that artist is but there are quite a few ways to make money off being creative I always tell people, yo, creativity is next to godliness. I do three shows a month out here in Atlanta at Apache Cafe right down the block. I do the bar exam every month. That's an open mic competition and showcase. Um, I do a show called The Freestyle Experiment. That's a live music night. It's an open mic. Uh, but it's all about original material and performing that with the band. It's all about freestyling and just doing, just experimenting. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just try to do unique things in the city, man, and I try to keep... I try to keep the base of it all, the principle of it all, about the craft and really about MCing, man. So I'm an MC's MC. Um, I love the craft. I, I came up listening to, you know, Quali and, you know, Biz Black Sheep. I was kind of, I was kind of high dress when I'm here, man. I was like, yo, I'm gonna sit next to dress. But um, yeah, man, that's, that's that's what I'm about, man. I'm all about the craft and I'm all about hip hop. I'm accessible. Hit me up on social media, Instagram. Come get my number, man. I'm here to connect with y'all. Both y'all have degree. So now you here in Atlanta, right? Right. Yo, have y'all been to any open mics since you've been here? I've been here about a week. Have you been to any open mics since you've been here? <laughs> okay. So, open mics. Atlanta have a bubbling underground, yo. Like our underground is like off the chain. It's, me and this gentleman right here, we come from that. We, we are trendsetters in this city for what we did with open mics. He did it at the strip club. I did it at one of the biggest venues in Atlanta at the Atrium. Trendsetters of the open mic game. That's why you see a plethora of them right now. Like, it's ridiculous right now. So, like, literally every night of the week here in Atlanta, you can go somewhere and perform if you want to and actually start building a fan base specific. Here we go. Next thing. Let's go here. Networking, relationships. Diana said it. Have you talked to any DJs since you've been here? Have you been to a club, walked up to the booth with a drink or $20 in your hand and said, hey, I need to talk to you for a minute. I got this record. I want you to check it out. Better yet, I want you to play it right now. Those specific things to do. You see what I'm saying? Now, let's continue to move forward. I'm going to pull out my note because I had to write some notes. We talked about money. Yo, go get a job, yo. Like real talk, it ain't even no, it's not even no debate. Do I just go music or eat? That's a, that ain't no question. A lot of money to play in Atlanta. It costs a lot of money to play in Atlanta, trying to break a record. Yo, but if you go an hour and 15 minutes down the road to Macon, you go I-20, head down to Augusta, yo, head on out, yo, you can walk right into the radio station and talk to somebody right then. 
And hey, they might actually play your record right then. The whole thing is that music is not a business. Music is a business card. Does everybody get that? That your music is not a business. Music is a business card. So when you're looking at your movement, quick little exercise you want to do, because Napoleon Hill taught us that the highest form of imagination is empathy, right? The highest form of imagination. Now, we know imagination is more important than knowledge. Like, we know Einstein, Ben told us that, right? Like, we understand that E equals MC squared is really just a real fly way to say that all of this is just energy. That this table is just vibrating at a different speed than my shirt, right? But that all we have to do, like they say, if you go down to the subatomic level and you hold an atom in the middle of your hands, then the protons and the neutrons are orbiting 20 miles away. What does that mean? That means all of this is immaterial except for the fact that our thoughts make it so. Know you hot? It don't matter what genre you in. You just a man. Like when you walk into a room and everybody look at you and they like, I don't know what they do, but they do something. Right. That's what I'm talking about, hiding. Right. And that's the whole, that's what he was saying. You the man regardless. Right. So now, when you start saying you believe in yourself, we mentioned, several people up here on, the, on this panel mentioned it before. When you truly believe in yourself and you know you got a hit record and you know you got a, a popping stage show, you willing to invest in yourself. You willing to put the money out the effort to actually turn your music into a movement. Because that's why we're here, to learn how to turn your music into a movement. So the first thing you have to have is the confidence to even pursue it and put your money down. Because before any, Hotep said it when he made his opening statement, before anybody put a dollar into him, he had to put the money out first. Right. We do that. We do this every week. We on the road damn near every week. And before anybody paid us to come, we had to pay to come. Right. You see a word like belief and in the middle is lie. Right. Well, that's there to tell you. You can lie to yourself that you can or you can lie to yourself that you can't. But either way, you're going to make it the truth. Why is that important belief, to you? Right? It's important to you because of the fact that whatever you truly believe about yourself, which is stuff that you were given between the ages of 2 and 12, when your brain was in this constant, what they call alpha state. Yeah. Write this stuff down so you could Google it, because yeah. you're not going to remember none of this. But <laughs> your, your brain is in what's called alpha state, right? Between 2 and 12, your brain is a literal sponge. You begin hearing things like, oh, so that's what a mommy is. That's what a daddy is. That's how much a man is supposed to make. Oh, so that's what you do when you get angry. But the one about how much you're supposed to make is exactly what's determining the level that you're at right now. And I'm talking about relationships. I'm talking about relationships with money. I'm talking about relationships with people. Everything that you learn between 2 and 12 is what's still playing out. That's why you got that one homegirl and that one homeboy. They keep dating the same dude, but he wear different clothes or drive a different car. But it's the same as that. You have to know, and this is a project management um, philosophy, Conception to completion. Conception is the dream. I want to be an MC. But who knows what the end of that road is, what type of MC, what type of demographics, where do I want to perform, who do I want to perform for? So my question to individuals are, do you know as artists or businessmen and businesswomen where you truly want to be at the end of the road? important things that you're looking for? Um, I don't really, artist-wise, I don't really know. I mean, artists, I mean, for the artist thing, it's like an artist that wants to be an artist. You know what I'm saying? I think that uh, people have that, they don't understand what that is anymore. Like, artists look like artists. You understand what I'm saying? Like, an artist look, and the artist tries, and the artist doesn't care about um, what the people that's gonna see him first think about the way he looks in that appearance, you know what I'm saying? Like, and get you to uh, Andre wearing a blonde wig, or you, that, that's an artist. Like, um, these are people that don't, they, they care about what they really feel about what's going on, and I can, I can, I can recognize that immediately. Um, it's, it's different than, than the, the normal guys that run up to me and say, J.D., I can, I can, I can rap better than Bow Wow. That's not, like, I don't, that's not going to do nothing to me. Um, um, and I get that all the time. Like, 
Well, maybe you can rap better than Bow Wow. That's great. But, you know, at 11 and 12 years old, Bow Wow's mindset was like a 25 year old. Like he was talking to me and saying shit to me that I was like, what is this, where did he get this from, right? And that's the way you start hearing, you did the artistry, right, and the artistry. So then on the producer side, um, I'm looking for producers that understand um, the sonic and why, what, what makes records stand out as opposed to um, the records of today. A lot of times this conversation with Puff last night, right, and I was talking, and um, me and Puff, saying like, if we was to challenge five of the hottest records today and play five of the hottest records from the 90s, why do they get the different reaction, right? And that's, that's as a producer, and a young producer, that's what I would want a producer, to find a producer that, that's trying to figure that out. Because it's not about, um, ultimately it's gonna go back to that for some reason, I don't know, you know, because the, the, the sonicness of it was so dynamic, you know, this is just like when rappers of all of them, they go back and they start touching like different old school things, like, you know, like the 808, the 808 was used in the early 80s. Now it's like overused in the 2000s, right? So it's like, eventually it's gonna move away from that and it's gonna go to something else. But the sonicness of like, like I said, in five records, I'm looking for a producer, if I was looking for a producer, I mean, I'm not, but if I was looking for a producer that does that, um, I would, I would want to see somebody that's that's basically in that mindset, um, not not basically somebody that's just like, Jermaine, I got beats, and the beats basically sound like, you know, everybody else beats. Because then, you know, you can't, it's hard to separate, you know, for me as a person, because I'm always trying to figure out a lane for somebody. So if I, would, if I pick you, then I'm trying to find a lane that, that I believe you could fit in and, and nobody else is in at that particular point in time. Hi everyone, it's your girl Ashley Red. We're here at A3C. I'm here with Tai Chi, the best producer ever in the A. In we're Tampa. <laughs> and in Tampa. In Chicago. We're at a panel right now. I'm going to send you some stuff later on, but stay with us, right? Yes, sir.